Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to our NIEBS Home School. My dear students, hope you are all well by the grace of Almighty Allah. I am Shanti Dhanman, Assistant Teacher of National Ideal English Fashion School, Day Shift. Today I am going to take a general science class for the student of class 2 and our today's class chapter is chapter 13. Today's class topic is chapter 13, reading done and exercise and our lecture number 8. Here is my name and contact number. My dear students, today we will discuss a new chapter, chapter 13 and the name of our chapter is the water cycle. The water cycle. In, let's start the reading. Form of water. Water can be in three forms. Solid, ice, liquid, water, gas, steam or water, vapor. We use water in our everyday work. When we uh, drink some, uh, when we take food, we drink water. In the morning, when we wake up from the bed, we uh, brush our teeth and wash our hands, face, and other things using water. When we take breakfast, we also take uh, water. We drink water. And when we feel very uh, thirsty, we drink water. We use water for washing our clothes. <clears throat> for washing our uh, household things and also bathing and water is called the another na another name of water is life so we know that water is very uh, common things in our life but water can be stay in three forms one is ice other is liquid form and third one is gaseous form like uh, we take uh, some water then it uh, we place this water we place uh, take some water into a cup then place the cup in the refrigerator in the deep fridge and after a few hours we found that this water is very hard like it's ice then we uh, if we take uh, one cup uh, water then we put the water on the stove then after a few minutes we found that this water is boiling and a vapor is coming out from the pot so it is the gaseous form this vapor is the gaseous form of the water so water can be stained in three forms like ice liquid water and gaseous form <coughs> here it is here is the picture of three forms of water like here you see the ice solid form of water it is called the solid form of water and it is ice and here is the liquid water it is called liquid form of water and gas gaseous form of water then uh, when the water is heated then vapor came out so it is called gaseous form of water steam or water vapor the solid form of water is called ice the liquid form of water is water the gaseous form of water is steam or water vapor so uh, when the water is solid we call it ice when the water is liquid form we call it water and when the water is in gaseous form so we call it water vapor now do it pour some water in an ice tray and put it in the freezer after a few hours what uh, do you see you will see that water turns into become ice it is hard water changes its form on cooling or heating like here is a glass of water this water is normal and it is liquid form then if we give heat of this water then we found that uh, steam is coming out from the water and it is the gaseous form of the water again we if we uh, cool down this steam if we cool down this steam then again we found liquid water so uh, water can be when we heating the water it becomes uh, gaseous form and when the gaseous uh, or steam uh, we cool down that it become again liquid water like here <coughs> ice ice uh, when we cool the water it becomes an ice form like a solid form of water and again when we give heat to the ice then it become melting and after few hours it become again liquid water the water cycle 
Did you know that there is no new water on earth? The water gets reused in a continuous cycle called the water cycle. The water cycle is a circular way in which water moves all around the earth. It never stops. Water cycle has four aspects. Number one, evaporation. Number two, condensation. Number three, precipitation and precipitation and number four collection so water cycle has four aspects number one evaporation number two condensation number three precipitation and number four collection the sun heats up the water of the oceans rivers and lakes and turns it into water vapor or steam the water vapor or steams goes up into the air it is called evaporation. The water vapor in the air cools down and changes back into tiny droplets of water forming clouds. This is called condensation. So, we uh, when now the sun is very hot and water becomes uh, also get hot uh, from the river, canal or tank then they become evaporated and going on the upper side of the sky then when the vapor um, cool down it is uh, condensation then it came back into the uh, earth uh, as like a rain droplets the cloud in the sky becomes very happy because of the water droplets they cannot hold the water droplets any longer and fall down on the earth as rain this is called precipitation so, what is called precipitation, uh, precipitation when uh, clouds become very heavy and they cannot hold the water droplets, then they came down to the earth. So, it is called uh, precipitation. The water that falls on the earth as rain flows back to the oceans, rivers and lakes. This is called collection. Here, the process of the water cycle ag uh, being again. Then the sun, when the sun shines brightly, the water evaporates evaporates again and forms vapor so we can say that the continuous cycle in which water changes into water vapor goes up into the sky and forms clouds come down as rain and fills up ponds lakes rivers and oceans is called the water cycle so what is water cycle we uh, when the sun is very hot then it uh, take the water as evaporation and <coughs> then the water from the canal, pond, oceans and other places um, by the help of the sunlight they become evaporated and they go on the upper side of the sky. Then they uh, condensation and um, creates cloud. When the uh, clouds uh, becomes very heavy and they cannot uh, take the um, uh, weight of the water droplets they came down to the earth as a rainfall and then the water from the rain they goes to the oceans ponds canals and other places in this way water cycle continuously uh, going on and still it is also going on the water cycle does not really stop it does not have a beginning or an end. Now in this chapter we read water is found in three forms solid, liquid and gas. Water is solid form is ice, steam or vapor is water in gaseous form. Water changes into vapor by evaporation. Water vapor changes into liquid water by condensation. The water cycle is a circular way in which water moves all around the earth. Now, we do the exercise from this chapter. Our exercise number A, take the correct answer. Here is the sentence and three uh, words. You have to um, uh, choose which word is appropriate for this sentence. Number A, the form which water changes on heating, ice, snow, steam. We know that when we give uh, heat to the water, then after a few minutes it becomes boiling and vapor came out from the water. So it is the gaseous uh, steam. So the form into which water changes on heating stem. We put the tick mark on the stem. 
Number two, the form into which water changes on cooling vapor water ice. When we give uh, when we uh, wa give water cool uh, down, then it becomes uh, changes into ice. Number three, water droplets combine to form wind cloud uh, cloud rain. We know that when water droplets condensation and uh, they uh, creates cloud. Water droplets combine to form a cloud. Number four, when we dash, water is evaporated. Here is the heat, cool and fridge. We know that when we give heat to the water, it becomes evaporated. We put the tick mark on heat. And number five, water exists in dash forms. One, two, one, three, four. The answer is three. So we put the tick mark on three. We know that water exists in three forms, solid, liquid and gaseous form. Now, uh, B, write T for the true and F for the false. Here is the sentence. After reading this sentence, you find out which sentence is the true and which sentence is the false. Number one, ice is the liquid form of water. No, ice is the solid form of water. Answer is false. So, we write here F. Number two, the flowing back of water into the oceans, rivers and lakes is called collection. Answer uh, true. We write here T. Number three, water changes its form on cooling or heating. Yes, water changes its form by cooling or heating. Answer true. Number four, the arts heat up the water. False. Arts cannot heat up the water. Number five, water falls down from the clouds as rain. Answer true. Here you write T. Now match the followings. In this uh, exercise, here is the column number A and column number B. In column number A, there are some words and in column number B, there are also some words. So we match which uh, word match with the column number B words. Evaporation. We know that uh, water evaporates from the ponds, canals, lakes and other water places. So, we match evaporation with lake. One plus D. Precipitation. Precipitation match with steam. We match it. Number three, collection. Uh, when the water uh, droplets collected on the sky as a stream and then when they are condensation, they creates cloud. So, collection of the water droplets calls cl uh, cloud. We match 3 with F. Number 4, condensation. Condensation goes to the, uh, here is the wrong, uh, participation goes to E. And condensation, condensation goes to the stem. Condensation, stem. Cyclic motion. Cyclic motion is water cycle. Cyclic motion is water cycle. And number uh, D, uh, 6, steam. We know that the gas, uh, gas and steam both are the uh, gaseous form of the water. So, uh, 6 match with A. Here, precipitation match with E rain. Precipitation match with E rain because when the water uh, clouds, water droplets came down uh, the earth, it is called precipitation and um, its uh, water droplets came down to the earth as the rain. My dear students, I hope you understand this exercise and your homework for the next week is homework number 6, exercise number 8. I hope you all um, learn this chapter attentively at your home and do the exercise and um, also do the homework um, properly and submit it in the due date.